In exercise 17, we are asked to consider the vector subspace S formed by all the vectors in R3 such that x plus y plus z equal 0. We must calculate dimension of S and let T be the set of all vectors in R3 such that the third component equals the addition of the first component plus the second one. We must calculate a basis in the intersection of T with S. To solve this exercise, you must know how to identify vector subspaces, which you can find in property 45 in the Unit 1 tutorial. You must know how to calculate the dimension of a vector subspace. You can find this in Theorem 50. And how to calculate a basis in a vector subspace. You can find um, an example of this in Example 52 in the tutorial. So let's start with the exercise. We consider S and we must calculate its dimension. For it, I know that the dimension of a vector subspace is the number of components minus the rank of the... We know that the dimension of a vector subspace is the number of components minus the rank of the matrix of coefficients of the equations. When we have just one equation, this rank coincides with the number of equations. Number of components minus number of equations which in this case is 3 minus 1 equal g. Dimension of S is g. For the section V, we must calculate, we must consider uh, the vector subspace S, the same as before, and the vector subspace T, where the vectors verify that the third component equals the addition of the first one plus the second one. And we must calculate a basis in the intersection of S with T. That is to say, the vectors verifying the equation in S and also the equation in T. Before starting with the exercise, we must check that T is a vector subspace. It is because the equation Z equal X, X plus Y is the same as Z minus X minus Y equal zero, which is a linear and homogeneous equation. So, in effect, T is a vector subspace. To calculate the basis in S intersection T, we must identify those vectors verifying both equations, which are x plus y plus z equal 0 and z equal x plus y. Now we must solve this equation system. I can substitute z in this equation x plus y plus x plus y is 0, so 2x plus 2y is 0, so x equals minus y. Now I replace this result in that equation and I get z equals 
minus y plus y, so z is 0. Then I obtain that the intersection of S with T are those vectors in R3 very fine that X is minus Y and Z is zero, which is also a vector subspace because it is defined by means of two linear and homogeneous equations. The first thing we must know to calculate a basis in a vector subspace is its, its dimension. The dimension of this vector subspace is number of components minus number of equations, which is 3 minus 2 equal 1. So I need one vector to calculate a basis in this vector subspace. For it, I must choose one vector, very fine, the equations defining S. I choose, for example, y equal 1, and then I get x equal minus 1 and z equal 0. So, vector u equal minus 1, 1, 0 is a basis in S intersection T, which is the answer we were looking for. To sum up, you must remember that the dimension of a vector subspace is the number of components minus the rank of the coefficient matrix of the equations. As you know, when there, there isn't any redundant or dependent equation, the rank of this matrix coincides with the number of equations. Two, to calculate a basis in a vector subspace, you must first calculate the dimension of the vector subspace that we suppose it is k. Then you must choose as many vectors as the dimension in S. And finally, you must check those vectors are independent. If not, you, you must change your, your vectors. Finally, we have learned that the intersection of two vector subspaces are those vectors verifying equation in S and also equations in T.